Hey guys, today we are going to look at my favorite card for Liliana and the reason Princess Lily needs this card is because she needs to a creature of yours to die and this creature does that very well. Uh, two double black, Devoid, it has flying at the beginning of your upkeep, you sacrifice a creature so that's actually very good because it's going to flip Liliana very fast. Uh, whenever you sacrifice a creature, you draw a card. Now, this is very, very good. Because remember, Lily will give you another 2-2 two, two, uh, zombie token to sacrifice the next turn. She'll give you card advantage. One of the most difficult things I have with Lily is she does not activate all the time. She does not get into Planeswalker mode. I mean, you don't really want a 2-free lifelinker. That's not great. But this card curves so perfectly with her so if you had like a 2-2 two, two for 2 or something and then you sacrificed it then you would be able to turn her on and she is very good in planeswalker mode she is actually in my opinion much better than liliana of the veil in planeswalker mode uh, liliana of the veil obviously being one of the most dominant cards in modern the problem with this one is you have to flip her now if flipping the card is actually advantageous then you don't need to worry about it. I like the card. I, I, I was hoping she would get like some something that would make her easier to flip to her planeswalker form. And this definitely seems like the card. I mean, I would play it. I think it's very, very good for that type of deck. And uh, you're drawing cards, you're sacking zombies. I don't know what you're doing, but you're just getting a ton of advantage, card advantage. And most of the times you're drawing extra cards, it's probably removal. So very, very strong card with Princess Lily. So yeah, I, I hope Princess Lily sees more play.